when I'm out in the countryside filming people often come up to me and ask me uh, what are you filming and I tell them and they usually say well why are you filming that and I just say well look just look around you it's beautiful countryside and beautiful creatures all different types of creatures some that you've not seen before some that you have seen before but you see in a different way and what better thing to do than to take a little piece of that home with you on your video and you can watch it again you can watch it in slow-mo you can watch all the close-ups learn a little bit more about it but most of all I do it just because I love it okay so first up is the brimstone butterfly which a lot of people say is the insect that gave its name to the butterfly because of its butter like coloration um, we we off, we only see these with their wings shut and it's uh, feeding on I think that's comfrey um, so this is the normal view we get of the brimstone so to, to appreciate its full beauty we have to use a bit of slow motion and a still frame and then at last we can see what it really looks like with its wings open without going to the trouble of um, pinning it to a board like they used to do in the old days also we can see now how it uses those massive wings to take off from the plant and ease its way into the air it's quite an impressive insect next up is the cloudy jello uh, this is one of our butterflies that flies in every year from the continent like the Red Admiral and Painted Lady a master of disguises actually difficult to see again it's a butterfly that sits with its wings shut so there we see what it really looks like and I think we get a second chance there as well beautiful and so to the hair streaks um, a, a lot of the hair streaks sit with their wings closed this, this is a black hair streak um, and he's particularly good at negotiating his way around the brambles which you'll see in a minute but in order to see the again to see the inside um, which with this particular one we can tell from this still that it's a female because of the coloration on the upper wings the green hair streak um, probably my favorite butterfly um, it's up a tree and it's our only true green butterfly and of course it's sitting on green leaves which is um, very clever camouflage wise this is a male sitting in the hawthorn and uh, they usually will sit there very patiently waiting until a female flits across in front and then they'll leap into action and here is the female we've slowed this down a little bit but what beautiful colors that's a sort of metallic iridescent green and you can't really imagine what the color of the inside of the wings would be so of course we have to slow it down and grab a still frame of it wow look at that chocolate brown quite a contrast to the um, metallic green on the outside because when it's flying around it just looks like a greeny browny leaf flopping around in the wind it's an absolute nightmare to, to track that one and you can tell by the comparison of the size with the um, undergrowth there with the daisies and the buttercups just how big that butterfly is a real dainty one but a, an absolute little beauty let's move on now to the dragonflies and this is a migrant hawker one of the easier ones to film in flight let's just watch and enjoy this
Of course, to get the best effect from the slow motions, you have to shoot this at, with a high shutter speed, and then you can see the wings clearly. And now the brown hawker. This is a female, and um, she's looking for somewhere to oviposit, lay her, lay her eggs. And that also makes life slightly easier when you're filming uh, in flight. The scarce chaser. This certainly isn't as scarce as it used to be, uh, especially in Northamptonshire. Um, it spread um, via the River Nen um, a couple of years ago, and it seems to be um, maintaining good numbers. Um, it's great for filming because you can always find one of these perches that they will come backwards and forwards to, and this time I've caught one of them having his lunch. Not quite worked out what that is that he's eating, but um, it makes for quite a good scoff. <laughs> 